Hey, School Bus here. So one of the most exciting things for me in the 1.5 patch was that they actually went through and buffed the Swedish heavy tank line. And why that's important for me is that this is the only line where I actually have kept an active good crew in my Emil 1 at tier 8, my Emil 2 at tier 9, and the Kronwagen at tier 10. And starting off with the Emil, I absolutely loved it. And statistically, from a win 8 perspective, it's my best heavy tank, which is probably an indication that I'm really not a uh, dyed in the wool sort of heavy tank player, because certainly the Emil 1 is not the typical heavy tank. But I loved it. I love the Emil 2. And Eh, the Kronwagen and I were still kind of feeling each other out. I statistically, I'm doing well in terms of the damage and things when I compare it to my other tier 10 tanks, but I seem to be getting dealt a bad hand from MM because I think my win rate's like 36%. But again, my damage done is decent on it. So uh, yeah, not quite sure what's up there. So anyway. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is what, for me, as somebody who likes these tanks, what's important to me about what has changed. And starting out with the Emil, it's basically a my, very, very minor change. Uh, the DPM went up slightly. I mean, going from 1800 to almost 2000, that, that's a good bump. But it's the fact that they increased the alpha they lowered the clip size and they drastically reduced the reload time, or I should say significantly. We'll save the word drastic for the next tank. And that improvement keeps you in the battle a little bit longer. For me personally, auto loaders that reload in less than 30 seconds, that's a much different type of play style than what you're forced into if you start getting up into the 30s and the 40 second range, because you truly have to leave the engagement hide somewhere, relocate, do something to busy yourself with that time. And when you're down in the 25 second and below type of reload time, you you can stay there with the battle and that changes it. So that's really it for the Emil one. They did one little tweak where they increased the hull armor on the side so it no longer gets overmatched by uh, so many guns going uh, from 20 millimeters up to 35 so that's cool too that's not something that I personally have noticed a lot and they did uh, lower the tank traverse speed a little bit and you could feel that it is a little bit more sluggish from a turning perspective moving on to the meal two now you're talking a big bump in DPM going from 1952 up to let's call it 2600 that's a big jump its alpha went from 400 to 440 that's part of it mainly though even though it went down to a three shot clip again they put the reload time actually faster than what is on the Emil 2 that's amazing because what you have to remember is the reload time on the uh, on the Emil 2 previously was higher so they've actually gone beyond just keeping it equal tier for tier and they actually lowered it so you're going from 40 seconds down to below 25 seconds for the reload time that is very noticeable and it makes it a whole lot more fun to play because you can stay much closer to the action and you're you're able to really do a serious amount of dpm We'll see how this plays out if it goes a little too far. What they also did is they increased the mobility. And that is, uh, that's pretty cool. So as you go up through the tiers with this line, you will have a better and better power to weight ratio, which was always true, but now it's even more pronounced. And yeah, that rounds that one out. Should note, all of them, the ammo capacity was kicked up modestly. Last, we get to the Kronwagen. And basically, it's the same thing. It's the same story as what was done to the Emil 2. They just did more of it. So you now are just shy of a 3,000 DPM uh, overall with it. Same change with the Alpha as at uh, Tier 9 with the Emil 2. But the reload time, now you're down to 21 seconds. So 
being anywhere near 20 seconds for an auto reloader is uh, sorry an auto loader not an auto reloader it is great they also improved the intraclip reload so now you don't have three seconds between each shell you have 2.75 seconds and it's a slight change but it is helpful further improvements on the power to weight ratio and that rounds out this change oh I take that back they did increase the turret traverse speed from 26 degrees per second to 29 and that's that I think I'm going to enjoy these tanks even more I had previously found the Emil 1 and the Emil 2 to be very competitive so they're even better for me now the Kronwagen like I say statistically I wasn't looking too bad in terms of the damage dealt but I certainly don't have a very good win rate and I'm looking to improve that so if you like these tanks I think you're gonna like them even more now in full disclosure I shot that footage uh, talking through the stats about a day earlier and then I needed to create some content recording the Swedish heavies and I decided to uh, focus on the Kronwagen and no kidding a few games into it I got my first ace tanker on it I had previously had a first class and uh, then I had a series of some first and second class games this being one of the first class games the ace tanker you'll be able to check that in another video so yes I seem to have gotten the feel of this thing and I love it the, the DPM is just incredible and we're kind of just in mop-up mode now on uh, on this game except in just a moment here I'm gonna get a little sloppy a little bit of focusing not paying attention to what's going on wait for it wait for it I'm focused on this guy I'm like all right oh there was a boar sig on the back line I uh, I should have been paying attention to that and I didn't but you know what that's a lot of damage done. I'm pretty happy. I think I can go back to the garage with a smile on my face. At the moment when this happened, I actually was questioning whether, because this was the game right after the Ace Tanker, I actually thought maybe I got two of them in a row, which that would be a first for me in my whatever we're at now, four or five years with the game. I've definitely never gotten an Ace Tanker in the same tank back to back. <laughs> that would have been kind of crazy. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. You guys are my PR campaign, especially those of you that make it to the end of the video. So share it with your other friends who play the game, and uh, together maybe we'll grow this channel. Have a great day.